Yo, what up, everybody? Welcome to the finale of Sonic Unleashed. Got shot up, literally. Alright guys, let's take on Dr. Eggman and one of his machines as the Werehog. First time we're doing that in this game. Actually, the only time. Alright, so basically, um, how you attack this boss. The Egg Dragoon. Um, this lit up part on the bottom, this lit up green part on the bottom, you have to attack that whenever you get the chance. Whenever he's attacking, that thing will have a shield around it and you will not be able to attack the lit up part on the bottom. Um, he has a variety of attacks, like the machine gun and stuff like that, and uh, attacks that freeze you and stuff. And basically, what you have to do is you have to get his health down to a certain line that you see on his health bar. Once you get his health down to that line, you will trigger quick time events. One thing I remember, one thing I recommend doing is that um to get his health down to the line quicker, hold the Y button for a certain amount of time, and the Werehog will charge up a big punch. Which once you let go of the Y button for a few seconds, I mean after a few seconds, um the Werehog will um launch that punch and he will take out a big chunk of the robot's health, which is really useful for getting an S rank on this boss fight. So, uh, the quick time events, I really don't mind them in this boss fight because, well, really the atmosphere of this boss is awesome. The atmosphere of this boss is really good. This boss really does feel awesome. And, um, after you do that, he is going to, um, break the platform and you will have to fall down and dodge his attacks collecting rings as you go. And as you can see, Eggman is really getting mad at us. And I really don't think that you will die. I really don't think that you have to land on that platform in a certain way. Or else you'll die. He will also summon um, his little Eggman robots. They're really not a pain to kill. I mean, they don't give you experience, but they are really easy to kill. 
And Eggman himself can also hurt his robots with his attacks. So, uh, yeah. You can really just pretend like they're not even there. They really, they're really not a nuisance in this fight. Except maybe when they're close to you, I probably should have uh, attacked one first. The platforms do get smaller um, as each section goes. Okay. Oh, snap. And by the way, every time you attack Eggman, he says, You little. You little. All right. Last quick time event. And this actually, I think, is pretty awesome. It starts off with the same thing, but eventually you jump up to his cockpit and you get to punch him in his cockpit a few times. And it ends with a very, very. And, it, and this boss fight ends very, very satisfying. Hit the Y button 16 times and boom! I love this part. That last part is always going to be the B button, by the way. Some of these quick time events stay the same. But, yeah! That, that was awesome. You gotta admit. So anyway, and we get our S rank. <laughs> I love the Werehog's animation whenever you get an S rank. I've only been recording for almost seven minutes, which is awesome. Um, uh, enjoy this very satisfying cutscene that I, I know a lot of fans loved. the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Chip is about to do something really ridiculous. What's happening?
right, guys. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the final battle with Dark Guy here. We are playing as what is called the Gaia Colossus, which is what Chip. Well, which is apparently what Chip turns into every time he has to battle Dark Gaia. Yes, this is probably the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen in a Sonic game. But anyway, um, basically what you have to do in um, the first phase of this boss fight has three sections. And um, it's kind of tedious, but... um. <laughs> Uh, with the dark, with the um, Gaia Colossus, you have to boost up to Dark Gaia, dodging the meteors that he throws at you, and uh, make sure you block against his laser, his big laser attack. You can also press the left trigger and right trigger to um, punch, um, in, a, in case you need to punch the meteors to, um, uh, you know, in case they're unavoidable and stuff. But I mostly recommend you guard unless you can punch his um unless you can time his punches right when he throws the meteors at you because ship's punches are slightly delayed and this is pretty much where I don't necessarily like the quick time events because well right here the game's basically punching for me just because I'm press pressing a button I mean the game's basically doing this for me you know, through quick time events. That's pretty much when I don't like them. Now in this section we're going to have to play as Sonic. Now we will have to do this three times. Play as the Guy Colossus one time and play as Sonic one time. Then we have to repeat that process two other times. Oh snap. So um, basically in those sections you have a time limit to, um, get, in a, to get to an attack of one of Dark Guy's eyes before time runs out because Dark Guy is charging up a laser and he's planning to um, shoot Chip with it. If you don't make it in time, you lose a life. Chip, Chip gets shot and you lose a life. So um, basically, we have to do this two more times. Yeah, we have to play as the Guy Colossus two more times and then play as Sonic two more times. So this is the second time. And then we're going to have to play as Sonic for the second time and then we're going to have to play as Guy Colossus for the third time and then we're going to play as Sonic for the third time and then you move on to the second phase of this boss fight. In the SD version, it's not like that. You fight Dark Guy once and then you do all three Sonic sections and then you move on to the second phase of the boss fight. So, um, uh, yeah, and also in the SD version, you don't have to boost up to Dark Gaia. In the Wii version, no, you don't have to boost up the dark guy. You're already up to him, and you're doing a punch-out style uh, fight with Dark Gaia, and then you do all three Sonic sections. I think the first phase is done much better in the Wii version than in this version, but that does not go for the second phase. The second phase is vice versa. So uh, I think the second phase in this version is done better than the second phase in the SD version. But we will get to the Wii version when I do the Wii version. It won't be now because... Well, that's just too much Sonic Unleashed at one time. That's just pretty much too much in one, too much of one game at one time. So, uh, I'll, I'll do the Wii version... Uh, not now. <laughs> I don't know when I'll be doing the Wii version, but it will be sometime soon. But not now. So, of course, these Sonic uh, sections do get progressively harder. Um, so, uh, yeah. I'll snap. If you fail that quick time event, you get bounced back. So, uh... <laughs> Alright, so let's go. Alright, 
Also, I guess you can point out one minor difference between this version and the uh, Wii version. In the Wii version, Sonic hits Dark Guy's eyes once. In this version, he hits his eyes multiple times. So, um, uh, yeah. And also in the Wii version, when you do the Sonic sections, you don't have a time limit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but like I said, we'll get more into that version when I do that version. But it won't be right now, like I said. Dark Guy shoots his meteors faster. He throws uh, the meteors at you uh, much faster now. Because we're on the third and final section of this phase of the boss fight. Alright, um, uh, so yeah. If you, um, if you can time punch it, chips punches right, <laughs> then you'll, then, uh, then, well, yeah, go ahead and go for it. Try to punch his meteors, but... It, but, um, because his punches are, um, delayed, I, um, I recommend you just, um, guard most of the time. Especially when you get closer to Dark Gaia, um, on the third phase, because he shoots his meteors much faster at you, so, um, yeah, just guard. It's gonna be harder to, um, time your punches right, because he's really throwing them at you. Oh, snap, see, I couldn't even guard right on time. All right, make it, 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 make it. Oh, yeah, thank, thank you, thank you, Jesus. All right, so um, quick time events are also a bit faster here. So um, but they're really nothing you can't handle. I mean, they they're not that much faster. They're not that much harder. Sometimes Chip takes a while to charge his punches. I mean, really. <laughs> and then sometimes he does them fast. Sometimes he does them slow. Alright, so this is the hardest and pretty much most annoying Sonic section. I'm not going to use up all my boosts. Alright, in this part here, I like this part because of that. I don't know. <laughs> I just like that. Nineteen minutes, good time.
now the final boss, Super Sonic. And now the second phase of this boss fight, Perfect Dark Gaia. First of all, I would love to say the music in this boss fight is an orchestrated me is an orchestrated remix of the main theme of this game, Endless Possibility, which was done by Jared Reddick of the band Bowling for Soup. Great song, by the way. It's one of my favorite songs of all time. And yes, I do love it. By the way, Sonic and the Gaia Colossus have a health bar. Um, Super Sonic has a health bar, and you will have to collect rings in order to fill that health bar. Alright, so while Chip is um, holding Dark, and so while Chip is um, distracting Dark Gaia and fighting off Dark Gaia, we have to take out these um, snake things by boosting into them. That's all you really have to do in order to take out this shield that Dark Gaia has up, because they are creating the shield in order for us to. So we have to take out the shield in order for in order for us to attack Dark Gaia. Make sure you keep attacking the snake things because they can go back into the shield when you um, have health. And by the way, you have to hurry up and um, take out all the snake things before the guy Colossus loses all his health. Or else you will lose a life. And by the way, Dark Guy, and by the way, Chip will be stunned at times. And, and those times when Chip is, those times when the guy Colossus is stunned, you will have to, um, dodge dark guy's attacks as he will begin attacking you so uh yeah i guess my only complaint about this boss fight is the snake things and it's kind of annoying how they go into the shield and you have to wait and and you have to wait for them to come back out see 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 like that like that like that you could be right get ready to hit one and they'll just come back in You have to wait for it to come back out and to go back to come back out, and that's um, that's the only one I have to hit. I have one more. Hurry up! All right, take it out. Come on, Supersonic, you can do it. One more. There you go. All right, we've taken out the shield. Oh snap! Alright, so now we have to do quick time events to um, knock Dark Gaia's hands off of Chip as he is trying to blast him with another laser. And if you have, and, and if you listen closely, when Dark Gaia shoots his um, big energy beams, they actually make a little Dragon Ball Z sound effect. <laughs> if you listen closely, you will hear the same sound effect as the energy blast making Dragon Ball Z like the ching you know it's I, I find that kind of weird uh, but hey now we have to press X 60 times 60 times biggest quick time event probably ever in video game history I don't know <laughs> but it but anyway chip absorbs the laser he punches dark Gaia and now we deliver the final blow with supersonic just hold X to boost and you boost straight into his eye. And we get a CGI cutscene here. Enjoy it.
Doctor. <clears throat> you can simply begin your plans anew. Even if all of your efforts this last time were utterly wasted, even if it was a complete and utter humiliating loss, even the most pathetic loser in all the world would have lost his shut shut up. <laughs> That fat man could always run. over darkness and the world is returned to peace it's simply a miracle we've been saved by a miracle i told you didn't i there was no way sonic would let something like that happen and right you were still we cannot live without the night we all must sleep we all must rest darkness is a part of our world just the same as light it may be that the darkness has not been destroyed, but merely laid to rest. It grows strong over the eons, rises up, then is put to slumber by the light. Perhaps that is the true balance of dark and light Gaia. That balance may be the very will of the planet itself. Save the speech for later. We have got to get things ready for Sonic's coming home. Getting a coming home party. Yay! That looks like the bounce bracelet from Sonic Adventure. I'll be here by nice throwback, Sega. Nice throwback. A part of the Earth Chip's going bye bye. He's going back to sleep with Dark Gaia. Alright guys, that is Sonic Unleashed for the Xbox 360 slash PS3. So it was a pretty awesome game. The day stages were amazing. The night stages were enjoyable. 
the major problems I had with the game was the sun and moon metal collecting and um, the and um, uh, well the amount of tediousness this game likes to put you through sometimes. <laughs> But the musical track here is the um, main theme of the game, Endless Possibilities, by Jared Reddick, featuring, I mean, by Jared Reddick of the band Bowling for Soup. So, um, awesome song. I don't have enough time to show the credits because uh, I have recording limits. So, um, yeah, so this was an awesome game. My next Sonic playthrough will be Sonic and the Secret Rings, and I will see you guys then. Later, guys.